If we could turn back time a bit, we would be able to see one of the best cartoons, We Bear Bears, and many other great cartoons that were released during its era. Let's take a trip back to 2015, a time when Cartoon Network had not yet started to decline. I must say that the story of We Bear Bears is built with a deep foundation. Each bear has a background story that explains how they found each other and the events that led them to be tightly bound like brothers, even though they are not of the same species. In this video, we will look at the story and background of We Bear Bears from start to finish. Little is known about Grizzly's past, but it is known that he has been parentless from a very young age. What happened to his parents or who they were is unknown. He was first seen alone in a flashback scene at the beginning and end of the episode titled Burrito. In that episode, he is shown as a very young cub stuck in a large tree during a rainstorm. Grizzly is crying loudly out of fear. The tree is surrounded by police cars, fire trucks, and possibly spectators who called 911. The authorities hurry to safely bring the cub down. The firefighters quickly prepare before sending one of them up to get the bear. When the firefighter reaches the crying grizzly, he extends his hand for the cub to hold on to. It takes a little time to calm him down, but once he does, the cub holds tightly to the firefighter's wrist as they come down. After the situation has settled and everything is calm, the firefighters set off to take the cub to a safe place. Grizzly is still holding tightly to the wrist of the man who rescued him. Grizzly is later adopted by a TV network to star in a Canadian sitcom called Family Troubles. He begins to see his co-stars as his real family. Unfortunately, this feeling is one-sided, but the actors go along with it. Grizzly has to compete for the attention of both his family and the ratings-obsessed director until a new character, Cousin Lorenzo, is added to the show. Over time, Grizzly announces that he is going out into the world to find a real family. Despite upsetting the director, this is met with approval and support from the live studio audience. In a flashback scene in the film, it is revealed that during Grizzly's journey in search of a real home and family, he literally stumbled upon Panda, who was trapped on the train tracks and preparing to die. Grizzly offered to help free Panda before the train could crush them. However, Ice Bear, who was nearby preparing breakfast for himself in a tree, saw what was happening and rushed to help. By working together, Grizzly and his new friends managed to escape the predicament just in time. In the excitement of the moment, Grizzly suggested that they become lifelong brothers so they could continue working as a team and always look out for each other no matter what. At first, Panda was confused because they didn't look anything alike. But when Grizzly said, that's the best part, all three accepted the idea. Since then, they spent their cubhood traveling the world together, searching for a home. Eventually, at the beginning of their adult years, they found a cave, which they renovated to become their permanent home. Grizzly reverted to some of his old habits from his sitcom days and became determined that their family needed to be famous to be accepted by everyone in the local community. He began using the internet to achieve this goal. Despite his misguided attempts to gain popularity for his brothers, his good intentions were clear. Ultimately, like true brothers, they were happy as long as the three of them were together, no matter what. My favorite bear is Ice Bear because his story captivates me greatly. In the episode titled Yuri and the Bear, it is shown that Ice Bear lived alone in the Arctic until he met a man named Yuri after crashing into one of the poles holding Yuri's tent while escaping from a pack of hunting dogs. As a result, Ice Bear grew up with Yuri and learned to cook, use an axe, the Russian alphabet, geography, and mathematics as Yuri's assistant. At one point, Yuri made Ice Bear promise to be kind to others, explaining that responding to rudeness with more rudeness didn't work. One day, while Yuri was away, Ice Bear stumbled upon a treasure chest and found a photo of Yuri and his family inside. He then made a wooden horse and gave it to Yuri as a gift. However, Yuri was disappointed because Ice Bear had broken the glass frame of the family photo and he shouted at him to go outside. Ice Bear rushed out as fast as he could and began to cry until he fell into a trap set by other men. Yuri rescued him from the trap and tried to drive the other men away until they approached the ocean. 
Yuri had to cut the part of the land where Ice Bear was standing and leave his axe behind to push him away from the land. Ice Bear fell into depression until he found Yuri's axe beside him. Ice Bear wiped away his tears and grabbed the axe in anger. In Icy Nights 2, Yuri is the only person who remembers Ice Bear's past because he recognizes Yuri's picture. In Band of Outsiders, when the ice flow finally sets off towards England, Ice Bear is bullied by local animals, nearly hit by a car, and chased by a baker he initially thought was Yuri. He runs into an alley and cries, but when he hears Badger, Ashley, and Joe trying to break a lock with his axe, he rushes out. Impressed by his axe and cool brush skills, they nickname him Axeman and allow him to join their gang. Later, Ice Bear, Badger, Ashley, and Joe break into the bakery to take revenge on the baker for mistreating them. When invited to crack the safe with his axe, Ice Bear sees a photo of the baker's family and remembers the promise he made to Yuri. He refuses to open the safe, leading to a fight with the gang. However, when the police arrive and the kids panic, Ice Bear finds them an escape route. Once safe, they thank him for saving them and invite him to get some food. Ice Bear declines, and they cheerfully bid him farewell as he goes his own way. In We Bear Bears the movie, it is shown how Ice Bear met Panda and Grizzly. While eating an egg from a bird's nest, he notices Panda and Grizzly nearby on the train tracks calling for help. Panda's foot is stuck between the rails, and a train is fast approaching. Ice Bear spits out the eggs, rides an eagle, and jumps onto the tracks to help free Panda. The three bears manage to escape the train, but soon Panda falls behind, and Ice Bear carries him on his back. Panda then reaches for Grizzly, who is perched on top. Ice Bear stumbles on a missing rail and falls, but Grizzly catches them, hanging on the edge until the train passes overhead. Once they re-emerge, Grizzly suggests they make a great team and proposes they stay together. The bears join their paws and vow to be lifelong brothers. The episode Panda 2 shows that Panda lived in an animal sanctuary near Shanghai, China, when he was a cub. He was extremely cheerful and kind, even greeting the food channel that fed him like a friend. Unlike his adult form, bamboo was his favorite thing to eat. One day, a staff member in the observation room noticed that Panda looked lonely and gave him a stuffed panda baby as a companion. Panda and the stuffed toy were inseparable until one day when he used the toy to help him climb up and look into the window of a room where he occasionally saw light shining. When he looked through the window, he saw a television and was completely fascinated. The very next day, he escaped to watch the wonders of the magic box, but it was turned off, so he went to find another one. He found the security camera room, but the televisions showing the camera feeds quickly bored him. After wandering around for a while, he saw some trees outside a window embedded in a door and thought this window was another magic box. Unfortunately, the sanctuary staff realized he had escaped and chased him until he found an open window. He leaped to freedom, but had to leave his stuffed friend behind. While the sanctuary staff continued searching for him, he escaped on a truck loaded with bamboo. It's unclear whether he remembers any of this. Sometime later, he met Grizzly and Ice Bear, and they swore to be brothers for life. And so, we have learned the backstories and how all the bears met. In return for my efforts, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment about what you think of this cartoon. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and consider becoming a member to support me financially, watch my videos first, and get access without having to wait. Don't forget to join my Discord server to chat and share theories. I am the storyteller, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and goodbye.